Hi everyone, uh, this is an emergency broadcast. Uh, please, whatever you're doing, I want you to pay very close attention. Um, just about about two weeks ago, I visited one of these African countries. Okay, so as soon as I stepped into my hotel room, I heard the Lord speak to me very loudly, and He said to me, "There is going to, there's about to be a massive bloodshed in Nigeria." And it's going to happen within the regions, the southeastern and south-southern region of Nigeria, the old eastern region. And then it is going to happen by means of air bombardment. I heard this very clearly. There is no question. I heard God clearly tell me this. And then he said that this bloodshed is going to be provoked. There will be something that will trigger it. Okay, and the moment that trigger happens, the response to whatever it is is going to be overwhelming. It will be much more than what triggered it. That everybody will be wondering, how come you're reacting like this over this little thing? That's what God told me. So, but this is already a plan. So, only God knows how that trigger is going to happen. Whether the people who are going to lead this thing are going to be the ones to instigate the trigger. And then this now begins to happen. But there is going to be a massive blood shed in Nigeria. And God said it is very, very close. Just a few months from now. It's very, very close. And he said, you need to go and tell your people to pray. All right. I was asking God why this is happening. And the Lord said, I want to break the backbone of colonialism in Nigeria. See, when we talk about going our separate ways and having all this secessionist movement and all of that, it's not really because one hates Nigeria. It is because the union in the first place happened without the consent of the parties who are involved in the marriage. You don't bring people together and tell them, marry yourselves, without them having to discover themselves, all right? So what God wants to do is, if we can go separately, which what they wanted to achieve through restructuring, which has now failed, and then other people say, look, if all these things don't work, let's go our separate ways. We have homogeneous groups the, the people in the southeastern part of Nigeria are homogeneous. They, that's a homogeneous group. The Odudua people is a homogeneous group. The Arawa is a homogeneous group. Why can't they function autonomously and then have a union? You can call the union maybe Union of Nigerian States, like United Arab Emirates, like European Union. These are separate countries, but they are just, they, some of them are not even up to like 2 million, 1 million, 1.5 million, but they are countries, and yet they are one. That's why you have Schengen visa. You get visa for one, you visit the rest. If we have something like, say, for instance, the Union of Nigerian States, somebody who has a visa to go to Dudua Republic can use the same visa to come to Biafra Republic or go to Arawa Republic or something. We rediscover ourselves, and then we can now begin to love ourselves naturally, spontaneously, not because someone put us together for their own selfish interest. It is all because of their corporations. All these colonial agents are actually putting us together because of, of their corporation, because of their business interests in Nigeria. And God said, look, we have become too big and too mature for this kind of nonsense. Enough is enough. We need to break this thing apart and then rediscover ourselves again. But then the colonial agents are so angry that they're running scared now. So the best thing is for them to secretly sit around and watch while Nigeria burns. If that is not... If that is not what is about to happen, tell me why a whole Great Britain will sit there and watch Nigeria go through the kind of political turmoil and crisis we are going through now, knowing that there is a right way to go about things. They have not even voiced out. They have not even come out to say, look, let things be done this way. They all keep you quiet. The silence is very disturbing. It's very troubling. That tells you that something is going on. So in in, 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 in other words, I am trying to say that a very huge catastrophic event is being planned for Nigeria. And God said, you need to pray to stop it. I was a bit reluctant when I heard this from the Lord because I had been fasting for three months already. I wasn't just fasting from food. I fast for food and for sex, honestly. By the last day of this month, 
this particular month of July, I would have completed a three-month fasting. And now God is saying, go into another fast, which is going to start by the first day of August all the way to the last day of August. And now God said, let the fast, give me specific instructions. Let it be between 6 in the morning and 1 p.m. You can only take water. All right. And then after 1 p.m., if you want to go further, you can do that. And then the Lord said as well, any man who is married, any woman who is married, who is interested in being a part of this prayer program to save our people, you must not have sex with your wife. I heard very clearly. I am not imposing this on anybody. This is what God told me. So this is going to be a fast from food and a fast from sex. If you are a young man, you're not married, of course. I don't know what business you have with sex. So nobody should have sex. And if you do have sex within the period, please do not join the prayer. And then the third thing is this. I am going to please beg everybody who is listening to this broadcast, wherever you are, anywhere in the world, we want you to donate prayer points for us. We're going to have a prayer point for every single day for the entire month of august starting from the first day to the last day so donate prayer points or submit prayer points and when you're writing your prayer points on my facebook page please write it in capital letters so that i will see we can pick all the prayer points and then we choose from the ones apart from the ones we already have we can look at the ones that people are submitting we'll make uh, we'll make a choice and choose it and then make sure that we broadcast it and then make everybody see it at least before the first which is just a few days from now before the 1st of August, when we start this prayer, I think I'm going to find a way to put my Instagram uh, uh, handle on this video so that people can follow up because I'm thinking that every night at midnight, we can actually go live on Instagram and close this prayer, okay? And the fasting program every night at about midnight. And even when we don't pray, okay, I think that we can actually still show people, uh, let people have the prayer point so that you can gather with your family at night, 12 midnight to close the fasting and prayer program. This is an emergency broadcast. It is extremely serious. It is expedient. I cannot tell you how important this is to me and to you. So please, let's put our hands together and pray. They are about to cause a major, major catastrophic, cataclysmic event in Nigeria that will lead to massive bloodshed. I don't even have any fear at all that whether I heard God right or not. I am telling you, I heard him very clearly and it is true and it is about to happen. But we are going to pray and the Lord is going to destroy all their plans. All of them who are planning for bloodshed in Nigeria, the bloodshed will happen in their families one by one. They will use their head to carry the bloodshed. Mark my words. As soon as we begin to pray, you will see strange things will begin to happen in the camp, in the camps of those people who are planning it against us. May the Lord bless you as you follow this. Amen.